been a month since I've driven this damn thing. So, let's give it a shot. And the kid just uh, rode his bike past by me, which he's right over there. Currently running on a six cell nickel metal hydride battery, so 7.2 volts. Um, not as fast, I mean, at least I can actually make good jumps over that speed bump. And in fact, I used to drive my brushless slash right over here, especially with these cars parked. It's not really a good idea to be driving a a brushless RC car that goes like over 50 miles an hour at a at a parking lot. Uh, Chevy Tahoe is passing by. Let me go. So as you guys may recall, I actually got this as a roller when I first got it. And this is actually not my first Rustler. My first Rustler I actually bought was back in 2016. I got it out at my local hobby store for like 200 bucks. And this one, it's kind of a, a funny story is the, the guy that uh, sold me this car, I, I got it used, obviously. So, so when I got this from the uh, from the seller, originally he was selling it for like $150 with just a roller, but that included a included Anaconda tires and stock rustler rims, which is cool. But the only thing is, like, why would anyone pay $150 just for a roller? Even just like assuming, assuming we just left the uh, Anaconda tires aside, like why would anyone pay $150 for a roller? Which is, yeah, not a good idea. So I offered the guy at least like, I uh, believe 80 bucks, if I do remember correctly. So 80 bucks for this rustler, put my slash rims on it, and it works like a charm. Put the motor in ESC. So my flash was gutted. And it works fine. And the kid with the bike that came past by again. Um, my Prius is about to back up, so I gotta stop here. And change, the, change up the battery. I got like two batteries left. I mean, this is now. This is this one is running on the seven cell nickel metal hydride. I mean, it's not as fast as brushless, but um, honestly, this thing is pretty quick, very peppy, uh, very responsive. It's just running on slash tires, which is not 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 the best compound. Certainly, they're not the worst, but like I driven. Not these slash rims and, and tires, but um, the ones with the BF Goodrich compound. They don't really do well around a track, because I've actually drove my slash on the track one time. Still a pretty quick car. Eh. Just comes a Toyota Corolla. Damn it, I missed that on camera. Oof, there goes the battery. Oh, got the battery fixed. Focus, damn it.
And what do you know? I flipped over and then a key and there comes a Kia. How much I really hate the walk of shame. But that's the whole charm about owning an RC. You gotta deal with those things. I could have actually broken something due to that uh, rollover, but uh, so far it didn't really destroy the whole car. Dang, caught that on camera. It's not moving. What's going on? Probably a wire stripped off or something. I don't know. Eh, nah, it's, it's fine, but uh. Let me check. Ah, it's just a wire that uh, lost connection a little bit on the motor. It works fine still. If you guys actually take a look at my old videos, this is where I actually do usually do my drag races with on my rustler and my slash. I usually have a friend race with me, or I can just drive two cars with, with two hands, you know, because I can actually hold a remote control, like an RC remote, um, with one hand, like as I'm doing right now. Let's see. This is the same kind of method that Jang does uh, on Ultimate RC when he drives around the track or do his usual bash sessions. All right, battery's dying. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed that and I will see you guys later.